Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome to another healthy meal in the making here at Cook With Me TV. I'm really excited to have Nikki Romaine here Ooh, on the show. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for I'm coming over. I'm excited to make ramen. Oh yeah, ramen, <laughs> ramen. We're both ramen lovers at yes, heart, so this is gonna be definitely. a lot of fun. It is. A lot of fun. Though I've never made it, except for back in college, which was the way. Mm -hmm. Which is a packets. little, yeah, yeah, a little different. We're gonna spice things up tonight. Let's do it. Not, not your college ramen is mm -hmm. what we're calling it. Nacho, hey, mom. Not your college ramen. Not your. <laughs> not your. <laughs> not your college ramen. Okay. Spice. We're spicing it up. So, if you are cooking with me tonight. Um, I'm going to give you just a couple of minutes to get out all of your ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, and let me know if you are cooking with us rather tonight, mm -hmm. give me a hello, a wave, um, and go ahead and get out all of your ingredients. So what we're going to do first is get the pork going. So what you want to do is go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. um, and then go ahead and get out your pork um, and then a dish to put the pork in, as well as the hoisin sauce or the barbecue sauce. Are you, do you know what hoisin sauce mm -hmm. is? Okay, yeah, so it's, a, it's like a um, Japanese barbecue sauce. It's thick. It's nice That's and thick. thick. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a little sweet and tangy. It's good. I love barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love all barbecue <laughs> sauce. <laughs> as though, now, what if they don't like pork like me? Yes, so if you don't like pork, then you don't have to cook the pork for tonight. We are gonna also be soft boiling some eggs. And so that's gonna be plenty of protein for you, doing two eggs in your bowl of ramen. Mm -hmm. So we're also gonna pack it with some veggies. So we've got broccoli, yeah. bok choy, and mushrooms. And if you don't like mushrooms or- <laughs> I don't like mushrooms either. I'm <laughs> like, oh, but we're gonna go and add it anyway, right? Yeah, that's okay. And we'll just kind of pick and choose what we want to put in our bowls. And that's yeah. the beauty of ramen. You know, you can throw in whatever vegetable it is that you like. You can exactly. leave out what you don't like. Um, as long as we get, you know, some kind of vegetable in there, that's yes. really what ups the ante on the nutrition mm -hmm. of ramen. And it tastes so good. Even if you like live in a dorm, you could buy pre-chopped broccoli uh, from the yeah, produce section. Yeah, the bags section. of broccoli. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And throw it in the bowl and then pop it in the microwave along with everything Absolutely, else. Absolutely, yeah. Little, little extra step. So it but can be your college ramen. It could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> So let's go ahead and we're gonna get the pork started. That'll be the first thing. Mm -hmm. It is going to take the longest. Um, so Nikki, I'm gonna have you run over there yes. and um, grab the pork. Yes, and I'm gonna give you some scissors so you can cut the pork open, the package rather. And you can just do it right here oh, on the stove okay. since you're gonna throw it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're just gonna cut it open and throw it in there. Yes, we're gonna put this um, barbecue sauce on it. Okay. And just no really big rule with how much barbecue sauce, just whatever you think looks good. Um, coat it and then pop it right in the there. oven. Alrighty. And while Nikki's- So where do you get this pork at? I Is got that pork at the grocery store. I got it at Hy-Vee. And it's boneless pork tenderloin. You can tell I do not buy pork, so yes. I'm just curious. No, that's a good <laughs> point that you bring up too. I mean, you can really, you could use any cut of pork in this, but I like the pork tenderloin because of the shape. Mm -hmm. um, we can slice it. And then you slice it. Do you do thin slices? Yeah. Well, I guess I'll find out, won't I? Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> Jumping ahead, yes. it's okay. All right, so do, am I gonna use all of this? No, so let's go ahead and do like- Or do you wanna do this part? No, you do it, you can do it. Okay. What I usually do is just kind of like, Glaze? Yes, okay. exactly. And I don't have a little glaze brush, That's but okay. you can use a spoon or your hand, although you probably don't want to touch it. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. <laughs> what about like tongs? To, do I need to roll oh, it over? Yes. We've got those. Roll this bad boy. Kind of soak it all in. And while she's doing that, I'm going to pour some sesame oil into this big pot. This is going to be our stock pot. Do you, do you like sesame oil? I do. I love the smell of it. It smells so good. Ooh. It goes really nice in this dish, too. This is already looking pretty yummy. Maybe you'll have pork tonight. No, nope, <laughs> just kidding. Not happening. But is it a texture thing, a flavor thing? No. Um, so I stopped eating pork in college. Okay. When I just started learning more about food and where That's it comes right. from. That's right. Yes. So at that point, I actually didn't eat beef or pork. Okay. I've been a vegan, a vegetarian, a. Oh my gosh. I, hey, I hear you. I mean, in college when I was learning more about food systems. cheese, I didn't eat cheese. Oh, oh I never really and gave I up cheese. I love cheese. 
You said you didn't eat it? No, I never gave it up. Oh, you never did? <laughs> <laughs> but just learning about it and then watching documentaries. Oh I know. Gosh. Yep. I was like, nope, I'm not doing it. I think a lot of times the documentaries can be a little too Over extreme. But at the same time, I think they do help enlighten you and just give you a little bit more information as to how you know where your food comes from right how exactly. it's produced and then you can you know make your decision from there i think now i'm more of moderation you know that's good that's except a healthy for place to be <laughs> except for pork and mushrooms <laughs> and mushrooms now mushrooms is texture oh texture. okay okay um, that so makes just sense go ahead and pop it in yep go ahead and pop it in the oven and while she's doing that, and after you all are done putting your pork in the oven, go ahead and get some sesame oil in a pot. Yes. And go ahead and dice up that garlic. All right. Wash my hands. Yes, if you were handling the pork, wash those hands. Please wash those hands. But yeah, it's just the texture of mushrooms. I've never... I, just I can see that. Yep. I don't like it. And I sometimes I have a solution for texture problems, but I don't have a solution <laughs> for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've tried, like, I have a very good friend, Celeste. I, should, I don't know if she would tune in, but Celeste Sullivan. She's one of those people like, well, just try this kind. Try portobello. It's a di oh, I'm like, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm, no. <laughs> have you tried? Have you done that? I started telling her I was just allergic. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes she would forget. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm allergic. Remember? I'm allergic. Yeah, yeah. remember? <laughs> Well, okay, what do you need me to do next? Okay, so you can, let's see. I'm going to chop up this garlic, and we're going to get this broth going. Mm. Do you want to start chopping the broccoli? Sure. So we're going to start chopping the veggies. All right. So we've got broccoli and bok choy. And for ramen, I normally chop off the stem of the broccoli and just use the florets. Mm -hmm. And just try to cut them into bite-sized pieces. Yep. Imagine I just using did your that. chopsticks. Oh, you did, <laughs> didn't you? At home. For Kennedy. Mm -hmm. For my munchkin. We miss you, Kennedy. We wish you were here. I know. I wonder if uh, my husband is tuning in. So it looks like we have several people on. We just can't see everyone who's on. So oh, okay. let us know. Say hello. Hello. Say hi to Come us. On. <laughs> okay. So shorter than this? No, that's perfect. Okay. That is perfect. Do you like garlic? I love garlic. Oh, yes. And I, I promise, I swear I'm not a picky eater. No, Maybe I, I know. I'm like, oh, I'm not a picky eater. Then every time you invite me over, I'm like, oh, I don't eat that. No, no. <laughs> oh, I don't eat that either. <laughs> I used to not really like eggplant for the longest time. It just had a really weird flavor mm -hmm. and the texture as well. It got a little yeah. uh, like I. It's not like my favorite, but I like it. You know what I? I will eat it and I enjoy it. You're on my tail. Can you pick up your oh. foot real quick? <laughs> <Thanks>. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, but I like eggplant now. Yeah. Okay, so um, throw your garlic into your sesame oil. We're gonna saute that just for a minute or so until we start to smell garlic mm. and release those wonderful flavors. And then we'll add our uh, bone broth. Oh, it's and bone broth. It is bone broth. Oh, nice. Yes. My mother makes homemade bone broth. Ooh, yum. Mm -hmm. It probably tastes it's pretty good. I just had some while. today. Yeah? Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good and true bone broth takes a while. Yeah, it, it, it's so good for you though. She's really um, gotten really good at it. She has um, lupus, mm -hmm. and she says that the bone broth really helps her with um, what is it? The aches and pains. Really. And the inflammation. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of use it as maintenance. That's good. Plus, I just like it. I know it. Like so, Kennedy, which I told you, she woke up with a. Fever. fever yeah and so i was like oh, time for some bone broth yeah good <laughs> and, me and for her do you just like have a cup of it yeah just drink it uh -huh. mm -hmm. i do and sometimes oh. i'll cook with it you know uh-huh i love it and especially so this is a fun fact for pregnant women Ooh. um it does contain uh glutamine which is an amino acid that's good for um Collagen production and skin health. So it oh, helps. Oh, really? It helps while you're stretching. They do recommend it in the third trimester when you get the biggest. 
um, oh. helps to just soothe your skin for when it's time to stretch. Really? Stretch I didn't that know skin. that. Yeah. So, okay. When did the whole bone broth thing come into existence? I don't remember that when mm. I was younger. Yeah, I and feel like it's why? pretty recent you know? too. Well, I think there are there are a few health benefits that are backed by science. Mm -hmm. Some of the health benefits that are proposed are not backed by science, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not true. true. It right. just hasn't been studied. But mm -hmm. I think it, I think bone broth is a like a cultural drink, or it's like oh. a traditional drink in lots of different cultures. Interesting. Okay. So I don't really know, but I feel like I'm it's been pretty trendy that, but lately. I've never had time to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are there any bone broth experts out there? Yeah. Let it, oh, maybe is someone saying anything about bone broth? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Carla. Thanks for joining. That's my girl. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Happy cooking. Are you cooking with me? Let me know. I hope you're feeling better. It's that uh -oh, season. Is that your friend? Yeah. She's and everyone's just, just getting sick right now. Oh, it's that season. Oh, no. There's no Hey, Richard. Your big brother is here. Is this Richard oh, Brown? Oh, that's my brother. <laughs> he oh, loves nice. ramen too. That's our thing. Oh, yeah. yum. Got to eat some yummy ramen, big bro. Does he have any any tips? Any tips for making Ooh, a good ramen? Any tips, brother? Hey, Nissa. Look at your adorable bump. Isn't it cute? Oh, <laughs> yes, it is. She's so small, though. You can't even tell that you're with child until you turn to the side. Aww. Well, it's funny because there, I know a few women who are about the same, um, far along, like as same far along as I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, I feel like they're not showing as much as I am, and I'm like, really? I feel like I'm bigger than everyone. <laughs> am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Everybody's different. Yeah, everybody's that's true. Is different, and that's what I keep hearing. Yeah, I know, and I tell people all the time. I help people understand, you know, how to right. love and their then body, there you go. and then there I am, <laughs> not doing that. Like, hmm. Second guesses. We all do it. Oh, my mom so having I... trouble with voice matching your voice. Picture skipping. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. The picture skipping. Is that good? I'm not sure. Oh, Nissa, oh my gosh, we're due with number two on February 8th, and Silas is very excited to be a big brother. I had no idea. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. February 8th. I'm March 5th, so we're just a month away, a month apart. Oh, wow. Michelle said, no, I made the immune-boosting chicken soup earlier today, and I'm enjoying it while watching. Awesome. I added ramen and kale in... Instead of egg noodles, though, it's delicious. Ooh, Ooh that sounds really good. Yeah. yeah. Next time. Voice and picture is fine here. It might Where be does internet Michelle connections. Live? She's in Peoria. Oh, Michelle should come do the next. Mm. I'm inviting myself again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make with all of ramen us. with some <laughs> kale and yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm burning garlic right now. Oh. <laughs> I can hardly smell. That's what's. <laughs> Okay, so it's a little, yeah, it's all right. So once your garlic is nice and aromatic and a little brown, go ahead and pour your stock in. Um, at this point, you can also add things like ginger, onion, Ooh. just to help flavor your stock a little bit more. Are we adding any of that? I didn't plan on it. I don't think we have any right now. Oh, ginger? we do have some ginger. I Let's ginger. add some ginger. We Yum. can add some ginger. I'm going to pour this broth in first, though, because it's going to continue burning and I don't, want yeah. I don't want it to burn. Oh boy. Fogging up the camera. <laughs> I, it is. I'm looking at it. Okay. So I don't know if I told you this. Um, David and I went to Japan on our honeymoon. I saw a photo. Did you see a photo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that, I always like to talk Wait, about that because. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And we ate so much ramen. <laughs> and that's where we really fell in love <laughs> with ramen. It was just, it was amazing. And the process that it takes to like, make their broth, yeah. you know, they spend like 36 to 
48 hours actually making their broth and then they let it simmer really? and um, they use pork mm -hmm. bones and so it really draws out like the collagen and all oh, of the wonderful wow. minerals that are in the bones mm. and it's thick and creamy and delicious. Wow. It's so good. So how does my broccoli look? It looks perfect. Yeah? Yes. All right. So you can, why don't you put it in this bowl just to hold it to the mm -hmm. side and then you can get the bok choy chopped. Do you mind if it has... No, no, that's perfect. Perfect. I'm going to add some ginger. I have picky people at home, so I always add, do mine. Like, do you like this? <laughs> so you have to double check. Right, right. You don't have to do that here. Yeah, four year old. We'll eat anything. And... Yeah. Somewhat picky husband. And we want <laughs> the family to eat healthy, so, you know, we do what we can. I know it's hard. Experiment. You have to experiment, and you know sometimes it takes several tries to like something. And people aren't always willing to, to take, <laughs> which I completely understand. I mean, if you don't like something, why would you want to eat it twenty That's, times? Um, so, like spaghetti squash failed in my house. Really? Yeah. No, they don't want to try it a second time. They don't want to try another recipe. Yeah. No, it's not happening. My mom is funny. My my dad doesn't like a lot of vegetables, mm -hmm. so she'll try to sneak them in right. some things she'll blend them up puree right. them throw them in something not tell him what's in there or purposely say it's it was potatoes instead of it's right. cauliflower, cauliflower yeah. and just kind of wait for his reaction <laughs> it's funny uh, yeah yeah we gotta do what we can i think he what's catches on to it most of the time so that's pre-prepped bok choy oh, okay. that we can use too if we All need right. a little extra veg so i am not familiar with how to cut bok choy so, I know I've eaten it, but I don't. I know that. Yeah. Do they cut it right here? Yeah, cut the stem off. That's what it looks like. And sometimes it's a little dirty, so you might need to rinse the mm -hmm. the base there a little bit. So. But you can cut off typically about right here, because yeah. that's kind of what I used to see. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And you can just cut it right off the whole bunch instead of like oh. peeling leaf off just to oh, save some yes. time. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome. You learn something new every day. I love bok choy. Bok choy as well. It's one of those cruciferous vegetables which actually contain um, cancer fighting compounds. Oh. Yes. They're called sulforaphanes. So it's a. Uh, and, it, and that look, and that chemical is in um, all of the cruciferous vegetables, so like broccoli, broccoli. cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. All those good ones. All right, so if you are cooking with me, let's go ahead and get the rest of our stock ingredients in. So once you get all of your, your garlic in there, if you want to do some ginger, some onion, you can throw that in. Go ahead and get your, your bone broth in. And so we're obviously not making like a traditional <laughs> ramen broth because we're not cooking down pork bones, but this is just one of the shortcuts I like to take. So just use a bone broth. And then season it up with some different things. You can throw miso paste in here if you want. Tonight we're just keeping it simple with broth and a little bit of soy sauce. But I highly recommend trying miso paste if you haven't before. Have you been to the um, Asian the Asian market? Mm -hmm. Our university? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love going there. Let's just walk in and get inspired to make a <laughs> meal of some sort. And so I gonna, like the Indian market, which is further down on the university. I don't think I've been there. It's close. Do you know where Dixon is? Yes. So it's like you're going into where Dixon is located, but it's a little deeper into that, um, what do you call it? Plaza? Stretches, or, yeah, Plaza. Okay. No, I haven't been. I've been to that one. It's good. They have so many things. So Let's many things. That. Yeah, I think Colleen's been. We've got some spices from there. Oh, yeah, lots of spices, yeah. cases, curries. Mmm. Spices to make curry. Nissa says, Silas and I will have to try making this one soon. I've been seeing your posts of other ramen and it looks so tasty. Yes, Silas is her son. He's, is he four? I can't remember how old he is, but he loves to cook. Oh, 
my he's got gosh. a little apron and a chef's hat and he's adorable. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Sandy is saying that's an understatement. I'm not, I don't remember what uh, statement that was. I know. <laughs> that's an understatement, Ashley. I love the, you know, she said, Colleen says she loves the Indian, Indian market. market. Then there's also a um, Mediterranean. Me, yes, the yeah. Mediterranean market. I love that one too. I like that one. Get some falafel stuff in there. And also the produce is really expensive at the Indian market and the uh, Mediterranean one. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we've got our broccoli, our bok choy, and our mushrooms chopped. So we're just going to set this stuff aside. All right. And I'm going to throw my mushrooms on with your okay. bok choy. They are going to intermingle. Don't <laughs> Luckily, touch. mushrooms don't have a strong flavor, so you won't really taste them. <laughs> Don't touch my bok choy. And so the next thing we'll do is we're going to get our eggs going. So we're going to do some soft boiled eggs. Yeah. And so, Nikki, if you can, mm -hmm. there's a little pot on the stove. Let's um, yep. fill that fill up about water. like halfway with water. Okay. And we'll put it on high and get that boiling. And all we do is just drop those eggs in boiling water for about five minutes. Oh. Put them in an ice bath because that is supposed to help them peel easier. So oh. we'll, we'll definitely do that step tonight because I didn't do it last time and it's like half of the egg white came off of the egg and I it's just a yolk. Did, I didn't know about that and I've tried to several times to make a soft boiled egg and I failed. How's that? That's yeah, that's that perfect. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a lid on it too just to trap do the you heat. you want it on the back? No, you can leave it there. Here. That's fine. You say what now? Do what? With the fire? Um, medium, you said? Medium high. Medium high. I like to crank the heat in the kitchen. Crank the heat? <laughs> Not always okay. a good idea, but... Um, oh, and then the lid. Is the lid over there? Oh, <laughs> yes. Perfect. All so right. bring that up. Okay, so we've got those things going. And what do you... Do you like to top your ramen with anything in particular? Mm. The green onions. Green onion. Uh, or, yeah, a little bit of at the top. I like oh, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds you know. are good. We have some cilantro, too, if you like cilantro. Oh, my husband loves cilantro. I yeah. Think good. Any suggestions for what to top our ramen with? Yuck eggs. <laughs> Mom doesn't like eggs. She doesn't like soft-boiled eggs. She'll oh. only eat them scrambled. It's just a thing understand how is our olivia doing she's doing Aww. well she's ready to eat some ramen <laughs> i bet she is hi karen good to see you thanks for joining so is anybody cooking with me let me know let me know if we're let going too know. fast too slow are you able to keep yeah. up what do you think about this recipe so far i think it's a little bit more involved than some of the other things i've done on the show so if you've got mm -hmm. someone cooking with you it's a little bit easier uh, so you can do like, you know, right, that's true. two things at once. You do need a little help with the chopping. Or you can chop mm -hmm. beforehand. Yeah. Pre-chop. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I say that. I never have time to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really either. I don't ever really pre-do anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's just get her done while I'm in here. Yeah. But it didn't go, you know, it wasn't too bad. No. But we also have each other. Yes. <laughs> but that's why I say it, like two people. It's yeah. just a little bit easier. To do. Mm -hmm. I think that's one thing too with cooking. It can be a little intimidating um, and time consuming. So if you've got someone in the kitchen with you, yeah, even just a couple by. of times, mm -hmm. it goes by a little quicker, it builds your confidence, yeah. makes you more likely to continue cooking again. I like in the to future. have my, my daughter likes to be in the kitchen and I give her yeah. little things to do. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. What does she like to do? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Do you give her a knife? Does no. She, I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wouldn't either. <laughs> just curious. I'm like, no. I'm just imagining her right now. She, li she likes to put her hands and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and she's mixing. She loves to mix. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. That's so perfect I give her job. stuff to mix, um, top off things, you know, just yeah. make her feel involved. And that's it's good. And like, when it's done, it's like, Kennedy made this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It makes her feel like she took had a hand in the yeah. cooking and... She likes to be a good helper, so. That's good. Nissa, mm -hmm. what, is, um, what does Silas like to do when he cooks? Because I know he likes I to know help I you in the kitchen, tips. too. Did you said he's four? I think so. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. My daughter's four and a half, so 
you have some tips. Who is that? Michelle? Uh, is that Michelle? Nissa. Oh, Nissa? This one here. Nissa. We'll see. So while she is um, typing that in, mm -hmm. um, can you grab those noodles over there in the orange packs? Mm -hmm. So these are the noodles that we're using. Did you using. get these at the um, Asian market? No, I actually got these at hy V as well. Oh, okay. And Kroger has them too. And so we've actually had a debate in the house about noodles because noodles are a touchy subject oh. for ramen at least. Oh, yes. Because there's so yeah. many different kinds and mm -hmm. obviously fresh noodles would be the best. But we like the curly squiggly mm -hmm. noodles. Because it reminds you of uh, ramen. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So we're going to use these. Um, and like I said, you can get these at uh, a lot of grocery stores in the Asian section at the grocery store. Mm. They're just dried noodles and so they only take three minutes to cook. So we'll drop them in the oh, stock okay. when we're ready to do that. Three minutes to cook. Um, but these are some other ones that we got at the, the Asian market, which were very affordable. So there's oh. those. And then I think, I think we're out of the other ones, but the other ones are uh, buckwheat. Noodles. Oh, I think I, I like these. I mean, I like these. Yeah. But I'm saying if I were making it, I probably would want these. Kind of a little, they're a little more flat. Mm -hmm. um, they're straight. They're not as thick and squiggly. Yeah, I'll put it up there. Yeah. And so buckwheat's a good option too for people who are needing to eat gluten free. Oh, okay. Contrary to the name, like buckwheat, <laughs> you would think that there's gluten in buckwheat because it's got wheat in the right, name, but, but it's actually a gluten free grain. You don't have a, a, one of those, huh? I don't, no. I'm just going to see what it looks like. It's a little bit darker in color. Hmm. It almost looks purpley brown. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it's good. It's got a little more fiber and protein in it. Nice. Yeah. So, so we're kind of just hanging out right now. There's a couple of ways that we can do things at this point. Um, we, the only thing left to do really is to cook the noodles and mm -hmm. the vegetables. So we could blanch the vegetables first in the stock and then put them to, aside. What do you like to do? I like to do that first. Okay. So let's, we can do that first. So let's dump the broccoli. We can dump them all in. Well, let's do the broccoli first. Okay. So throw the broccoli in the, <laughs> I'm like, okay. in the stock. <laughs> Let's do it. And we'll just give them like a minute, a minute head start of cooking time because they just take a little bit longer to cook mm -hmm. than the, uh, the other veggies. Than the other veggies, oh. yes. And then we'll fish them out and just store them in a bowl. Okay with the other veggies until we're and so ready to serve. when you do it this way is everyone kind of they get their broth and then they pick what they want to go in yep mm -hmm. okay. yeah exactly yes i like that option yes, yes, because yes. you know if you have picky eaters or people that don't like certain things they can just kind of yeah can choose what they want i like that and you could separate them if you needed to or like if they don't want anything touching like something mushrooms. or yeah yeah <laughs> or whatever should we good. check on our pork? Yeah, let's check on the pork. Let's open the oven and just peek in. Or how long do, does it need to be in there? Oh, it's looking good. Still mm -hmm. needs a little more time though. Mm -hmm. Looks good though. It does look good. Um, and actually we can cook, you can cook pork at 375. You could even do 400 if you were trying to really speed things up. Um, if you do 400 though, the sauce might burn a little bit. Oh, okay. There is a little bit of sugar in the um, barbecue the glaze, sauce. But, yeah, mm -hmm. so it'll burn. Um, not a big deal if you don't care about it. But. Right. <laughs> um, what so. Did that person answer? No. But Sandy is asking are buckwheat soba noodles? That's a good question. Um, I don't really know the difference between. So there's soba, uh -huh. there's so men, and I believe that that word refers to the shape of the pasta. Oh. So the buckwheat noodles could be soba noodles. There could also be buckwheat so men. There could be buckwheat ramen. Um, so buckwheat is basically just the grain that's used to make the noodle itself. Mm -hmm. 
So to answer the question, I believe yes. There's a variety of buckwheat soba noodles. Awesome. Yes. Who's cooking with us? Anyone? Know. Anyone? So we can throw in the, um, let's throw in the rest of the veggies now at this point. Okay. So we'll do the Should mushrooms we pull out and the, the bok broccoli? choy. No, we we're going to okay. leave that in and we're just going to cook. We'll um, saute the veggies, or not saute, boil gotcha. them for like just a few more minutes. Oh, there we go. We've got our mushrooms. Do you like your um, veggies soft? Do you like them to have a little bit of bite in them? I How do you like them? I have a little bit of bite. What about you? Yeah, same here. Same here. And so that's just something to consider when you're mm -hmm. doing this process. So this is almost coming up to boil. I'm going to go ahead and throw the eggs in here. So how often have you made ramen like this? Um, oh gosh. A lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I would say, so we got married in 2016. So we mm -hmm. went to Japan in 2016. And then I came home and tried to make traditional ramen. Did you try it with the, mm -hmm. really? So I went and bought pig's feet and other pork bones and oh boiled it down. Gosh. You were like hard and then, work. Yeah. <laughs> it took three days to make the entire recipe. Wow. And I wasn't really happy with how it turned <laughs> out. So I was like, this still doesn't <laughs> taste anything like, yeah. It doesn't taste anything like what I had in Japan. But it was still really good and it was, cool to just you know I was Try just it. really inspired yeah. at that time and so trying it was fun but the shortcut version is just a lot faster <laughs> and more practical <laughs> yes. for our life <laughs> now when you're cooking down the pork is are there any so it all the ramen is with pork over there okay. not all of it um, but it is a common variety so there's they different have the fish stock too right they do yeah. and that's a really good question mm -hmm. to bring up because they have a few different broths. So the, the pork broth is called tonkatsu okay. and it's so it's the slow cooked pork bones. It's really mm -hmm. thick and creamy and like oily. Like you can feel wow. the fat on your lips, <laughs> which sounds <laughs> disgusting for some people, but, but it tastes good. I'm sure. So good. Mm -hmm. And then there's a um, miso broth. So using miso paste. Yes. Okay. There's a shio, okay. which is using just salt um, okay. as the seasoning. I've heard of shio and of course and then, miso. Yep. And then shoyu which is soy sauce. Yes, um, that would be popular. But I believe all of the broth bases are made with pork broth, at least. Do you like the flavor of pork? It's so like, would a pork broth be? I mean, I, I did once upon a time, but I haven't eaten it, so I don't, yeah. I, just, I don't want pork. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want the swine. I hear you, I hear you. So, so I said it's not a matter of taste, I guess is what I mean. It's, I, yes, mm -hmm. I gotcha. I'll stop talking to you about pork. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's a good question. It's just, if I were to, like when I eat ramen, I prefer to either have the fish broth or mm -hmm. the miso or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that I had a fish, a fish broth over there. I'm not sure why. Mm. I don't know. Or maybe I did and I just don't remember. Because you said you ate it a lot. I will take you to our Asian market. Oh, fun. So Sandy lives in Michigan. Oh. She's in Kalamazoo, Michigan. So they've got an Asian market, apparently, and they've got nice. some soba noodles, I'm sure. Do you, <laughs> do you cook ramen, Sandy? I'm going to. So we're just gonna let those veggies cook for another couple of minutes. And essentially what we're doing is blanching them, which is just dropping them in boiling water and letting them cook for a few minutes. Um, they'll turn bright green. We're gonna take them out and removing them from the water will stop the cooking process. Um, so they will be cooked, but they'll still have a little bit of bite to mm -hmm. them like we like them. Um, yeah. And then I set Are the we, timer. What are we doing with this? Oh, that Do was more bok. Yeah, let's throw that in. Okay. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> more bok choy. Speaking of veggies. I think I chopped it one night because we were going to make something else. Something else. Stir fry or something. Mm-hmm. So do you cook every night? Oh, this one has the... That's a bigger bok choy, yeah. Oh. So it's this 
all the um, stems are intact there. We don't cook every night, but we cook most nights. Yeah. Yeah. And we by probably... we, do you mean you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Colleen helps. Colleen, uh, and sometimes Colleen will cook, you know, one night. Right. If I just don't feel like, like it or if I come home now, late yeah. or, mm -hmm. yeah. David doesn't cook very often. I have to just, I have to like nudge him. Yeah. <laughs> Does cook? he have like special things like like my husband has special things that we are like, oh, can you cook this tonight? Mm -hmm. Does he have like those special things that he likes to cook or he, that people like for him to cook? He does a good like breakfast for dinner. Meal, oh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then quesadillas or yeah. t like tacos, any kind mm -hmm. of Mexican type thing is nice. his favorite thing to cook. Cool. Yeah. What does Jonathan like to cook? He's actually a What's really his? good cook. Yeah. So he. Um, does like a, a boil, which we've had for Ooh, couple, like last like year for boil? Christmas. Crab boil, shrimp boil. Ooh. We put crab, shrimp, we'll throw in some lobster, potatoes, um, corn on the cob. Yes, that's a classic Charleston yeah. dish. Oh, Charleston, is South it? Carolina. It's called a low country boil yeah. or frogmore stew. Frogmore stew? I've never mm -hmm. heard that. <laughs> oh, we, oh, <laughs> well, we just call it a crab boil. And nice. then he has a really great, it's a, I think you call it Italian sausage soup. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, that sounds so he good. He can pretty much cook anything, and he's really good at That's it. That's great. Mm -hmm. oh he needs to cook more then. I know. Get in the kitchen more, Jonathan. Tune get in. The kitchen. I just texted him to tune in. <laughs> cook at home. My brother is a really good cook, too. I don't know if he's still on here. Robert? We never yeah, let I don't George know. cook. We never let George cook. It'd be PB and J. <laughs> It's true. Oh my gosh, when I was pregnant, I, I basically did a grilled PB&J one night. Oh my gosh. And it was oh, so good. That sounds really good. It was so good. Now that you've put I that in never, my mind, I'm going to make it one night. <laughs> I never even thought about that, but I, I just wanted it. Oh, melted peanut butter? Yes. Did you do like butter mm. on the bread? Mm -hmm. oh. It's a, literally a grilled cheese sandwich, but... It was a grilled PB and J. Oh my gosh, that it sounds so good. good. Just re what kind and of jelly? And then Jonathan was like, "I like strawberry." Oh yeah. Or now I'm into like the jams where they have like raspberries and blueberries Seeds and like yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> you get them at the uh, farmers market. Mm, yeah, yeah. So Jonathan was like, "Interesting." And then when I started eating it, he was like, "I think I want one too." <laughs> It was delish. I'm, oh, oh, I think I'll be doing that this week, actually, because I love peanut butter. It's something I just love. I'll you. eat it every day. So Ashley's also got me hooked on this peanut butter and dates. <gasps> yes. I have a little cubby in my office with the dates. Yes. And, the peanut butter. and then I love it. Kennedy loves dates, so she'll just throw the dates in her mouth. Good She's for like, her. Yeah. She does not like peanut butter. Really? It's surprising. She does not like peanut butter. Huh. So PB and J mm -mm. off the table. Mm -mm. So, did I tell you what I learned about this date and peanut butter thing? No. So, oh, this is our timer. Let's take the eggs out while we're talking about oh. this. Um, real quick. Okay. I'm going to get an ice bath together okay. for the eggs, and I'll have you... Maybe in there? Oh, no, that's where our veggies are going. Actually, how about... Can you take the veggies out, actually? Sure. And I'll do the eggs, because they are ready to come out, those okay. veggies. And you can use this guy... Use this for the veggies? Yep, and fish them out with that. All right. Oops. And I will get, I'll just throw the eggs in here now. So apparently, mm -hmm. apparently mm -hmm. eating dates in your third trimester is good. There was, there's been some research showing that there's something in dates that helps with cervical ripening. Oh, wow. So like it helps your cervix thin. Get ready. Yeah, it's get ready for birth, yeah, yes. Yeah. And so <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, this is just perfect timing you for like, me to fall yes. in love with this date and peanut butter snack. Oh, this and, is a new thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's funny, I put it on, I suggested it to someone that I was working with, mm -hmm. a patient of mine. To have that combination? To have that combination, because I had seen it somewhere, and she's got a lot of food um, intolerances and allergies, ah, okay. and so we were just trying to find things that she could eat to snack right, on. Yeah. And I was like, you should try the dates and peanut butter. And then I got home that night, and I was like, I'm gonna try it too. that sounds really good. I should try this. It is so good. And it's a perfect little snack, too. It is. You're hungry, but not quite hungry for a meal. Mm -hmm. Not meal hungry, but snack hungry. Yeah, it's perfect for that. Yeah. 
in a good on the go type of thing. Mm -hmm. Like if you pre pack if you pre pre prep it. <laughs> yes, yes. They hold together pretty well. Yeah. Oof. Saved my life that day. I'm so glad system. that's right. <laughs> I'm so glad I had him here. I know. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna throw some ice in this bowl and then top it with water. So hopefully these eggs are a lot easier to peel. Ooh, the veggies look so good. Good. Mm -hmm. and, and once did you get- Did you end up adding ginger in here? Adding what? We did add ginger in here, right? Yep, mm-hmm. We did. We can always add more too. <laughs> What's up, Kiki? Are you scrounging with this ice cube? Here. <laughs> so we can now, so let's go ahead and throw those noodles in to oh. the um, stock as well. All right. So I like to cook everything in the stock just because it gives it more flavor. Flavor, absolutely. Yeah. That's how, you know, when my mom makes the bone broth, uh -huh. I'll cook things in there, like, Ooh, you know? Yeah. Like, I, because Kitty's sick, I she wanted grits. She loves grits. And so I made it with uh, the bone broth. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's a great idea. Yep. What kind of grits do you like? Do you use? Um, just the. Are there what kind of grits are there? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know, in Charleston, South Carolina, grits is a big deal. So it's like, what kind of grits do you eat? <laughs> so like yellow grits, white grits, oh, stone okay. ground, or hmm, I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, they all taste really good to me. I know. I'm just like, whatever is at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I hope it didn't come across pretentious. No, I was like, just, I'm like, what kind of grits do, do you eat? <laughs> do tell. I can make some yellow, put some turmeric in there. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I like shrimp and grits. That's like one of my favorites. Oh, yes. Love shrimp and grits. So I, I know you do the cook with me. I haven't been tuning in, but how often do you do cook with me? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday at 6.30 p.m., yes. Wow. And I post the schedule ahead of time mm -hmm. for the month, just so that everyone can kind of see, ooh, what's like, what are we cooking this month? Yeah. And if you like, if you really like something, um, you can get the ingredients and then cook along with me. So do you have a lot of people that are like hardcore, I'm tuning in every Sunday. This is my thing. Yeah, we yeah. have a, yeah we have a nice core group of followers who are nice. here every Sunday, and it's a lot of the people that are on right now yeah. definitely fall into that group. Um, awesome. Oh hey, Kathleen, I didn't see that you were on. Good to see you. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then we've got. I think my brother must have went away. I was asking him about. Yeah, the Nissa might have too because we she didn't respond. That's okay. We have um, Kiki wants to cook. A few people who cook with us, oh, that's right? Fun. Which is fun. That's very I might fun. Have to do it. Yes, you should. You should. This will be the last. So for everyone out there, this will be the last episode, or um, yeah, episode in December. I'm um, gonna take a break after it's Christmas, in between New Year's. Yeah. So we'll pick back up in January. In the New Year. Yeah. Any requests? What do you guys want to cook? What would you like to cook? Mm. Learn how to cook. I don't know because it's winter maybe some mm -hmm. chilies and mm. stews something yes. like that some kind of soup mm -hmm. nice soups um you could come back and show me how to do your crab boil oh i'll have my husband <laughs> okay <laughs> come on you can cook with jonathan on the next one that sounds good um, what that else sounds really what good else? but yeah the crab boils are so good yeah oh, i love it when he makes it um what else there's a, I like this, it's a white bean chicken chili that I make. Ooh, it's good. Yum. Mm -hmm. oh, I love a, I've, I've actually never made a white bean chicken chili. Really? I've eaten it many times mm. and like it. Maybe I'll send you some recipes yeah. and then you can say, oh, I think I like that or, you know. That'd be perfect. Cool. Yum. Let's oh, check on the bad. noodles real quick. Cause like All I right. said, they only take like three minutes. Do you do that? Yeah, I'll do that. And... So is this your first time trying the ice bath with the egg? No. Okay. I, 
I just don't always do it because it's an extra step. But it worked out well when you did but it? But it works, okay. yeah. It does. Know. So I'm just breaking up these noodles because sometimes, you know, they're packaged stuck together. So we try to separate them a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you start, like if you notice, as we cook this stock or this broth, um, obviously evaporation occurs and so you are going to lose some amount of your liquid. If that's the case, just go ahead and add water. And you can add a little extra soy sauce to it if you need to flavor it up a little bit more. Or you could just add more stock if you have more stock. But these look delicious. <gasps> Sherry says she never misses hardcore. Yes. <laughs> and then Michelle says shrimp and grits. <laughs> Love it. Yes, and Sherry, I have to say, we've been using this. Well, you hit the one on the keypad. One? Mm-hmm. We've been using your um, oven mitt yeah. all weekend. It's coming to, it's coming to you. So Sherry um, sewed these. Oh, and she wow. made a few other like little Is trivets. She's here as well in mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Nice. And they're colorful too. Yes. <laughs> they're cute. They've got little potatoes on them. So thank you, Aww. Sherry. I appreciate nice. it. Nice. Love shrimp and grits. One thing that we learned about shrimp and grits in Charleston, like one way they like to do it is to put barbecue uh -oh. on there. Um, on the shrimp? Like on top, like as a garnish. Like they'll sprinkle bacon on top, scallion, oh, I don't and think then. I want barbecue. No. Did you like it? Well, I you liked said you it. really like barbecue though. Yeah. So if you, you don't, it. if you're not, yeah, uh, mm. then no, yeah. There was a, um, <clears throat> did you ever go to the Moja? It was right on the south end, right down the hill. Um, it was mm. like a southern food, southern cuisine. They no, had shrimp and grits it. on their menu. Oh, what's they it closed called? down. It was called oh. Moja. I don't know. Moja. Or something. I'm sorry, they closed down then. It's a bummer. Yeah, but they had shrimp and grits and it was good. They mm -hmm. had a lot of good stuff on their menu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was nice to have some soul food. Yeah. But I, I heard that they may be opening up another location. Okay. Um, Is there anywhere else around here to get that kind of food from? Mm -hmm. Soul food from? Or southern? Maybe more like caterers, like people yeah. that will come bring it to you. But I don't, I don't know about a restaurant. Hopefully I'm not missing anyone in case there is. Yep. Let us know if you do <laughs> yeah. know because I don't. But I know there are people that do catering, like, um, actually, we have someone that's going to be cooking for us for Christmas, because... Ooh, yeah? I'm tired. <laughs> Who's cooking for you? Um, his name is Reggie. That's and mine. He, he actually catered the food. The other night, we had a bunch of kids from Quest in our building, Quest, and um, Reggie catered the food there. Okay. And he and my husband are good friends, and so, like, hmm, do you do... Thanksgiving and Christmas food. So he said nice. yes. What is he gonna make? Turkey, greens, dressing, just everything. Yum. Yeah. Okay, so should be Yes, here. we're gonna peel these eggs. Start peeling. Okay, I, what did you just do there? So um I just kinda smack it on mm -hmm. the ground and then roll it so oh. that it crushes all over. You're fancy girl. I actually learned that one from Colleen. Oh, so thanks, Colleen. Go Colleen. <laughs> oh, go Colleen. I keep looking at the over here and Where's my mark? And sometimes, you know, like I can still see, like there's still some, some of the whites coming off. Yeah, but it's and not it's anything like what I've experienced. But I guess, oh, well, like I like it to be warm though. I like my... Your sauce. egg? Uh -huh. It'll warm up in the, in, in the broth. broth. Mm -hmm. But like say, for example, I'm, I want it for breakfast or something. How... Like a soft boiled? Yeah. Mm, that's a good point. You could just, you could peel it and then drop it back in hot water for a minute or so oh. and just reheat it, but not too long or else then it'll cut the yolk be, again. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, Zion, I go there a lot. Yes. Me too. And their, their softwood eggs are perfect. They are every time. They're peeled perfect. I'm like, how do they do that? We should ask them. Benu, are yes. you here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your secrets. Tell us your secrets, Benu. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, what? 
How do you do this? And I've seen, I've seen their bowl. They have like a bowl of yeah pre cooked eggs yes. already peeled yep. sitting there. I've watched it too. Hmm. Like, but what are they doing before yes. that? They have really good bread too. I love their yeah. I like the avocado toast. The, yes. I get avocado toast with two eggs. I know, I, I know you did that one time, and so I got two eggs last time I went. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know that was an option. Oh, you can always have whatever you want. Right, you're you you're killing it at the egg peeling game in there. Oh, that's because I'm, I like it to look good. You're fast, too. I think I'm just a slow egg peeler. And I'm mangling oh, it. I thought you had already done one. No. <laughs> No. Oh, Kennedy likes to peel eggs too. Oh yeah. Oh so gosh. She, oh, wait. Did we ever find out what? Um, I wish she was here. What is it, Silas? Silas. Mm -hmm. Silas. What does Silas like to do? I don't think this is on anymore. Oh. I think she left. Okay. Uh oh. oh. That was the cord. I'm gonna take these noodles out. I think they are done. Here, I'll take the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Multitask here. The one egg. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hilarious. Uh, when you find there's like a little skin right underneath the yes the shell, and if you get that groove into the skin, then the egg is like peeling real good. Okay. That's what I've discovered. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna put these noodles in a bowl. And then, we're really just waiting on the pork, but what we can oh, do yeah. is just, we can go ahead and build a build a bowl without pork, and then we'll just, just eat it when it's done. We'll yeah. finish them off when they're done. That'll probably be my bowl anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Love noodles. So how long have you been doing Cook With Me? We started in January of 2018. Oh. So we've been doing it for a while. Yeah. And I actually started out doing four nights a week. Get out of here. Monday through Thursday because I wanted it to be... I just wanted to provide more options. Yeah, well, that makes sense based on for what people. you do. I mean, you yeah. Know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thinking, I can't even cook in my house <laughs> for four nights in a row. That, that's ambitious. Well, I also, it's also, so I left my corporate job mm. like the year before, well, so I left my corporate job in December, mm -hmm. 2017 with the goal of starting a private practice and doing Cook With Me TV. So I had more time on my hands I see. at that point. It I, was your corporate job, was it in relation to nutrition? It was, so it was working for Aramark at the College oh, of yeah, Charleston. Aramark. Yeah, so it was kind of a combination of food service, campus mm -hmm. wellness, um, and then meeting with students, providing counseling for uh, food allergies. Oh, okay. Um, cool. I didn't like working for Airmark though. No, was it too, <laughs> like, too many restrictions? It's just, um, I think, like a lot of people are familiar with working in a big corporation, you're not always able to be as creative and yeah, restrictions and flexible. Yes, yeah, with what you do there, so then you kind of lose the passion. Yes, and that's that that's what happened. Yeah, absolutely. Into it. Ooh, this one's killing really good. I found the little skin. Oh, good. <laughs> she found the sweet spot over there on the I eggs. found the sweet spot. The little green ones. Okay, I'm going to add a little more water to this. Do, do, do. So do you have um, any special plans for Christmas or... You going anywhere? Well, we have a special surprise. Special surprise for Kennedy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and so, well, it's you funny because at home we don't even have a tree up. No. So she's like looking a little 
what's going on around here? Aww. Did Santa come? So, so my husband and I, we bought an old school building and we've turned it into an arts and culture center. Yes. And sorry, we haven't talked about that yet. No, okay. And so we also um, are in talks of doing like a little, um, like a mock town for kids. So we create a little playroom or play, what do you call it? A playhouse? Yeah. Yeah, a playhouse that serves as a mock-up for this um, this town thing. And it has a dual purpose because it also is a playhouse for our daughter. And so she doesn't know that we've done it and we're gonna reveal it on Christmas day. Yay! And it is pretty awesome. That's so exciting. Yeah, so it's her own little playhouse. She can go in there, um, turn the light on. We've got the whole room decked out. And Olivia will get to play in there I know. too. I'm so excited. So, so I don't know if you guys know this, but Ashley is in our building. Yes. So it's all upstairs in our little our little suite upstairs, yes. our area upstairs. And Olivia will get to play in there. As I'm well. so excited. Yay! It's gonna be and so much fun. And then we just brought on a program coordinator, and she has a actually her daughter just turned four. Um, so, you know, it, it's not just for Kennedy, it's for everybody in the building that, you know, has a little one. So we're super excited about that. Yeah. And she is going to be, oh my gosh, she's probably going to lose her mind on Christmas. Cause she's she's going to have to take a video of it yes. in real time yes. so we can see what's I going agree. on. <laughs> I agree. I remember that day I was talking to you about, um, Olivia spending time in there and kind of, you know, what do I do when I go back to work after I have her? Yeah. Can I bring her in and can I just stick her in that room while I'm meeting <laughs> with patients? And you should have seen the look Nikki gave me. She was like, I don't think that would be a good idea <laughs> to just leave your, infant, yeah, leave your infant alone. <laughs> like you can bring her in my office. She can hang out in a rocking, in a rocker. But, You're probably uh, questioning my, my mothering ability at no, this point. No, not at all. <laughs> That's why you have a support system. Yes. It takes a village, right? It takes a village. It takes a village. Yes, it does. So we are cooking a little bit more than what the recipe calls. And so I can imagine if you are cooking with us right now, then <laughs> you're probably way ahead of us. So yeah. if that's the case, go ahead and just dish out your, your ramen. And so what we like to do is start by putting, put the noodles in the bowl. Put your veggies in the bowl, pour your broth in, and then top it with your pork or and or your egg, um, and then put all the toppings that you want on it, like scallion, mm -hmm. um, sesame seeds, anything that you like. What are some other toppings that people use? Um, what have I seen? Seaweed is a popular one, oh, yeah. which we do have. Do you like it? I do. Oh, we'll bust out the seaweed. Yes. Then. I'm like, <gasps> yes. I want some seaweed. I'm trying to think of what else, like fish flake. Oh yeah, I've seen like that. Dried fish mm -hmm, flake. Mm -hmm. Dave is not a huge seafood fan. Oh, I love seafood. I do too. That was the whole really reason why I couldn't be now, a uh, vegan. Yeah. Well, it's so good for you. Oh, it's just it so really good. is. It was hard when I was pregnant too. Because you didn't want. Because you can't eat a lot of seafood. Because they tell like, you about the mercury. <laughs> you're and like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's. So they say. <laughs> Definitely not sushi. That's what your face looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I love sushi. So, at the day after having Kenny while I was still in the hospital, uh -huh. Jonathan brought me sushi. Oh, what a good, good idea. Honey. David, mm -hmm. take note. <laughs> <laughs> I want sushi. I was like, oh, hallelujah. It was so good. What's, what kind of sushi do you like? Oh, I don't, just everything. Just like, any, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I can't pick one thing. Although, you know what? Okay, so my favorite... I don't even know if it's my favorite, but I really love like just a salmon hand roll. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. Like if you just want to just, if I had to pick something, that would be it. Whole Foods. I know you've been to Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. They um, have like salmon rolls in their, in their case. I don't know if it's store specific, but in Charleston, South Carolina, where we were living mm -hmm. before they had, um, they had this little sushi stand uh -huh. in Whole Foods where the bakery was and you could mm -hmm. get a salmon roll. You could get, you know, they have um, that at High V too. Do they? Do they, they have, have like sushi? They yeah, have, like, I've seen that. Yeah. Do they have like the hand roll or what you call uh, it? 
that I don't know if they have. Honestly, like I haven't tried the sushi there. (laughs) (laughs) I know they have it. I just have not tried it. So I don't know if they have the hand rolls. Does it feel weird to you to eat seafood in the Midwest or is Um, that coming from, because you've lived in LA. Not that that's. No, it's not something that I like think about. Like, yeah, I just don't want to eat it at the grocery store. I don't know how long it's been sitting in the little case, Mm -hmm. you know. That's kind of what my get that. I think a lot of people feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if I see them maybe just make it, I might try it, mm-hmm. you know? I actually bought stuff to make sushi here. Mm-hmm. Not um, real sushi, just like veggie sushi. Right, 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 right. Because I can't Some eat rolls. raw fish right now. Yeah. A couple of rolls. And what happened? Did you do I it? I haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do make a good, what was that? Oh, that was the peanut hummus. But, like, I love peanut oh, sauce. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Like, I judge Thai restaurants mm. based off of their potsiyu. Mm. That's my mm. favorite dish. Okay. And their peanut sauce. Because I like to put the peanut sauce on the potsiyu. Yeah. And if I can, if those two are not good, I will not go back to that Thai restaurant. <laughs> so what snob. Are you, Talk about good? snob, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey. You gotta, I know what I like. You know what you like. There's nothing wrong with that. I know what I like. What um, Thai restaurants around here do you like? Well, it's like Tan Lin and... Um, well, Tan Lin is more Vietnamese, but they oh. do have Thai dishes. Okay. <laughs> You're <Yes>. like, oh. <laughs> but I do, and I hate to, you know, but the Thai restaurant here, I do not like it The all. one, is it the Thai time yeah, next to... Yes. So We've had now some... the other thing is I, d- I ate there literally, I, I was pregnant and I had just moved from Chicago, so my, uh, my standards probably were like, way too high <laughs> so, well so i don't know maybe i'll try it again yeah we have but i do love tom lynn you have what i have to say we we've been to thai time before we really like their um tom yum soup oh i like it tom was yum. really good yeah it was really good yeah but i'm saying the pots of you man they have a good pots of you and then if they don't have the the asian broccoli i'm over it don't put that American broccoli in my parts of you. Is that the one with the like thick, the thin, it wide like noodles? Choice. Well, the, the dish itself. Is it a noodle dish? Oh, yes. It, it is. Has okay. The thick. I love those oh, noodles. It's so, They're so good. good. It's my favorite. I had that in my first trimester when I was just craving carbs <laughs> all the time, and it was so satisfying. It was delicious. It is so good. Okay. So we can start building our bowl. And I actually, I think this pork is done. I'm oh, gonna awesome. Everything's... Take it out real quick and just see. So if you have a meat thermometer, do you use a meat thermometer at home? I don't. Should I? You don't have to. I mean, it's just is as it... easy to like cut it open and see yeah, if it's I done. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. I'm old school. But... If you are using one, 145 for pork is what you want to shoot for. Oh. Do you have one? Um, we do. But as you can see, I'm taking. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking the other way of just okay. cutting it open and looking at it, because I'm yeah. pretty sure it's done. It looks very tender. Yep, that's done. So I'm gonna cool. let that hang out. And so let's get like a little ramen train going here. All right, let's do it. Is it okay to, oh yes it is, I see the Noodles. We're making ramen. Yay. I'll give you a bowl. <laughs> and we didn't, um, didn't cut the scallion. Oh, I can, you we'll want to do, do it real quick? You can. Okay. You go for it, go for it. I'll give you these, and you can um, start putting your stuff in the bowl there. All right. We'll stick this here. So you said you put your noodles first. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Noodles. Look at that. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Get 
So this will be mine because I've scooped out the mushrooms. <laughs> Perfection. Very good. And then do I put my egg in there now or? Um, I you... usually do the broth first. Mm -hmm. So we'll, I'll give you a ladle and you can get your broth. Okay. And then for the um, seaweed, you put it in there before the broth? You can do whatever. Okay. If you want to make it look pretty and picture perfect, you can do it after. Okay. I would be pretty. Or if you don't care, then. I care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I care so much. Here's this for your bra. Presentation is everything. It is. Oh my it gosh, does. Kiki, I thought I was going to step on you. I'm so sorry. You can step on her if you have to. No, She's I always was... underfoot. She'll she move. Scared me. Yum. Okay, and then you can get your egg in there. We like to cut Ooh. ours in half. I do too. Put it in. Okay, cool. Yeah, but you can do whatever you want. <laughs> um, should I use the same knife? Here? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to join you. Mm, Got lots of that. noodles. Oh, it looks so pretty. I know. so good look at you it's like you've done food you've done food styling before haven't you <laughs> no oh, never. it looks like it <laughs> <laughs> never never <laughs> oh yeah I love it. oh yeah baby <laughs> look at that mm. so good not your college ramen Perfect bowls, Colleen says. Mm. Maybe I should add a little bit of broth. Oh, it looks so pretty! I know. No, I don't want to because you make it go away. <laughs> Do you want to take a picture? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I think I will, Kiki. Yay. So. Is this something you think you'll make at home? Uh, definitely. Okay, cool. I'll have to look up the... I have no idea what we just did. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's hard. We're trying to, like, have a conversation. Cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ashley thinks that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I just love how pretty your bowl looks. I want to get the bowl, too. The bowl is pretty. So if you did, um, if you weren't able to cook with us live tonight, this will be made available for on demand slash replay on our Facebook page. So Cook With Me TV's Facebook page and the ingredients will be posted in there as well. So grab your ingredients whenever you can um, play the video and cook along with the video and enjoy your ramen. We're going to yeah. enjoy it. Aren't we? we sure are. For sure. Sure. Thanks for tuning right. in. Yes, thanks nice for tuning to in. Chat with all you guys and yeah. meet all the new people. Well, new to me. Yeah. And thank you <laughs> for being here. Thank you. I'm so excited. For you me. Yes, we'll have to do this again. I know, we will. And eventually we'll do it at Greeley, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. How awesome is that to have all this set up? Be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you can just we'll do, do it that. on the regular. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, all right. thanks everyone. Have a wonderful night. Happy Sunday. Yum, yum.